everyone, I'm Wani. I'm deputy editor at SethNew.com. Today, we're going to be checking out Restaurant Aisha, a new restaurant that's opened up at Telo Ae. They are famous for their hand-pulled noodles and carry dishes from Xinjiang, one of China's, or I think if not China's largest Muslim state. Let's go check it out. Uh, we're here at restaurant Aisha and the dishes have all arrived but before we get into it I'd like to tell you a bit more about the background of the restaurant. So the name uh, came from a state in China called Xinjiang where the owner went to and then he saw a restaurant named Aisha and it just so happens that that state happens to be the most Muslim populated state in China and he kind of brought like the best flavours of the state to Singapore. It's also quite easy to locate because it's near the very prominent temple that's right beside the restaurant. Which temple? Uh? What's the temple? Next to the Tian Hock King Temple. First impression is that it's pretty cosy. It's a two-storey shop house in Telok Ayer. Do make sure to get your reservations in early because it's not a very big space and it's super popular even though it's just open uh, earlier this year. We have the beef skewers here and these are they are hand pulled noodles with three different soups. So this is the plain one, the dry, the spicy and the clear soup. So these are the grilled oysters. And here we have uh, quite a uniquely named dish called saliva chicken. Uh, but it doesn't involve any chicken saliva, so don't worry about that. And here are the handmade beef dumplings. Uh, which are in limited run every day. Uh, as I was told earlier, there's a lady in the kitchen who is um, assigned to this role of making the dumplings solely. So if it runs out and it sells out for the day, that's it guys, you won't have this. Okay, let's dig in! Wow, chilli oil very nice. First, that's in their homemade chilli oil. Whoops, it's a bit slippery. The chili oil isn't as spicy as it looks. In fact, it's a lot more fragrant than it is spicy, which is really nice for those who are, you know, like me, a little bit afraid of spicy food. It's really good. Next, we'll try this oddly named dish, uh, saliva chicken. As I said, there's no real saliva involved in this. So for the saliva conscious, like our producer behind there, <laughs> this is very sanitary and safe to eat, okay? So this chilli is apparently made with a lot of herbs and spices. It definitely smells very herbaceous. Mm, it's a little bit tangy, a bit sour, and just a bit of sweetness. So there's a lot of good balance in this. Mm, again, it's not as spicy as it looks, but it's very tasty. Um, a little bit on the herby side, so if you don't like stuff like maybe herbal chicken or something, you may not necessarily love it, but I think it's a good try just based on like how, how many herbs go into this. So we have three versions of the hand pulled noodle uh, bowls here. This is the clear, this is the spicy, and this is the dry. And also three varieties of meat, so like the beef, the lamb and the chicken. So lamb isn't often seen, I guess, in hand-put noodle bowls, so let's try that first. It's a bit messy, but you know, good food always requires a bit of hands. Oh my god, you guys. This is really good. The, the meat falls off the bone, so you don't have to struggle with it. It literally comes off. If you love mutton, you'll absolutely love this. Yeah, let's try see their hand put noodles. We're gonna test how springy it is. It's got good bite. It's not too soft. And it and the and the soup really coats the noodles really well. And I think they have different thickness of noodles, so you can choose uh, the type of thickness you want before you order. What we have here is buckwheat tea from the Gansu province of China. And it's not a common scene to have tea sets like this, with the tea cups and a full tea pot of tea uh, served in Muslim restaurants. But uh, here they have it because it's a Chinese Muslim restaurant. We have the buckwheat tea here, which I have said earlier. And just on first wave, it's quite 
mm, aromatic and nutty. It, it works really well with the food we just had because it's also a palate cleanser. That's all from me at Restaurant Aisha and I'll see you in the next vlog.